Hello, hello. Welcome back to my channel. Now, before I reveal the awesome recipe I've got lined up for you today, I just want to say a little thank you to Squarespace who are supporting this video. Squarespace offer a unique platform to help create websites and even online stores, and you can check them out and take advantage of a unique offer code using the link in the description box below. Today's recipe is a great one for parties because it's a really unique way of serving ice cream. This recipe is for edible ice cream cookie bowls and I'm also, as a bonus, going to give you a recipe for chocolate fudge sauce. So I found that the perfect sized thing to mould my cookie cups around is actually just a regular sized cupcake pan. I've got one here. I've already greased it with a non-stick spray just so that my cookies don't stick to it. Um, and now I'm going to get on with making my cookie dough. So in my mixer, I'm going to put 100 grams of soft, unsalted butter and to that I'm going to add 50 grams of caster sugar and 50 grams of light soft brown sugar and I'm going to get that beating on a medium to high speed not to make it light and fluffy just to bring it together so that's had a minute I've just dropped the speed right down and now I'm going to add half a large free range egg and it's already got a couple of drops of vanilla in it and then just speed that up to medium and beat that together for about 30 seconds to a minute So that's almost ready, I just need to add my dry ingredients now and I have 210 grams of plain flour and also 30 grams of chocolate chips and I've actually chopped these even more than they were already because it's really important to make these super small otherwise you're not going to be able to roll it out thin enough. And then bring that together on a low speed until it forms a dough. Now that took just under a minute and it's a nice sort of firm dough and we're going to use it straight away. So get it out onto your worktop and give it a quick knead. And then make sure your worktop is nice and floured so that the dough doesn't stick. And then you're going to roll this out as thin as you can, it's probably going to be about three or four millimetres thick using a floured rolling pin. So once it's the desired thickness, you now need to chomp out circles and depending on how big your cupcake pan is, obviously some people's are different, choose a round cutter that will make circles that will be big enough to kind of travel halfway down the hump of your pan and then go ahead and chomp out 12 circles. And you'll have some excess dough and you can re-roll that again. You might get another four to six rounds out of it, depending on how big your cupcake pans are. But for now, I'm just going to put these onto my pan and gently push them into place. Now you might find that when you curve it around the corner of the pan, you get little cracks. Just smooth those out and bring them together with your fingers. And also, occasionally you might get a chocolate chip, which is just too big, which makes a hole. Just remove it and fill it up with a little spare bit of dough and then just keep going with the rest of them. And when all your cupcake pans are covered, you then need to chill that in the fridge for half an hour before baking it at 170 degrees C for eight to 10 minutes. My cookie cups have come out of the oven and I've gently released them from the tin and now they have cooled down and it's ready for the next bit. So the next bit is to make the tops all level. I'm just going to use a very sharp knife, so this you need to be careful with this, and I'm going to sort of shave the tops of them off so that they're all nice and level. And once they're all nice and level, the next bit is to paint them on the inside with chocolate. And I've already melted some dark chocolate over a bain-marie, and now I'm going to paint the inside because that's going to create a barrier between the ice cream and the cookie, which will stop the cookie from going soggy. Once you've painted all around the inside, if you paint along the top of your cookies, then you can dunk them in sprinkles for a bit of extra fun. and then just keep going until you've done all of them.
And once they're all jazzed up, then you just need to put them in the fridge for a few minutes while you get on with making the chocolate fudge sauce. Right, it's chocolate fudge sauce time and it's very easy. So I've got a bowl here and it already has 30 grams of dark chocolate in it. I'm gonna to add to that 20 grams of cocoa powder. And then a good pinch of sea salt. And then I'm gonna put that to one side for later. And then and my saucepan, and again, a big saucepan, just to make sure it doesn't bubble over and hurt anyone. Um, so into that bowl, I'm going to put 60 grams of double cream, 25 grams of caster sugar, and 100 grams of golden syrup. And then I'm going to take that over to my hob to heat it up. I'm going to set this over a quite a high heat and I need to bring it to the boil and I then need to take it off the boil pretty quickly. Give it a stir every now and then just to make sure it's all mixing together nicely. That's just come to the boil and now I'm going to pour it over my chocolate and cocoa mixture and just let it sit for about a minute. And now it's time to give it a little stir using my whisk. I'm starting off stirring it quite slowly with the whisk, but gradually, as it all starts to come together, I'm going to speed up my whisking action until eventually I'm actually whisking it. And it's ready when it's super, super glossy, and you'll know when it's ready because you'll just want to shove your face in it. Well, that looks so delicious, and I guarantee you it tastes delicious, but for now, I'm going to put it into this jar until I'm ready to use it. Now it's time for the fun bit, so I'm going to fill mine with ice cream. I'm just using vanilla ice cream, but you can use obviously whatever flavour you like the most. And I'm just going to put balls of ice cream in it, drizzle it with chocolate and sprinkles. And there it is, how cool is that? These make brilliant desserts and brilliant for kids' parties, especially if you don't want to give your kids too much ice cream because they can only hold so much. And I hope you have loads of fun making them and if you do make them, then please tag me in your photos of them on Instagram using the hashtag CupcakeGemma. And thanks once again to Squarespace for supporting this video. If you want to create a website so that you can show off your creations or even create an online shop, but you don't know how to do it because you're rubbish with computers like me, then you should definitely go and check out Squarespace. Squarespace makes building websites, online stores and domains really simple with their award-winning designer templates and 24-7 customer support in case you need it. So if you want to check Squarespace out, go to squarespace.com and if you enter the offer code Gemma, then you'll get 10% off your first purchase. Go and make your next move with Squarespace and I will see you next time. Bye!